So cigars are very interesting to me because there's two major schools of thought. One school is, how can anybody do that? It's very unhealthy and all this other stuff. And the other school is, how could people not smoke cigars? It's relaxing and it gives you time to unwind. And I wanted this video to be the top five reasons that I smoke cigars and also why I believe a lot of people do it. So without further ado, let's get into the top five reasons that I smoke cigars. Reason number one, relaxation. To me and to so many other people, a cigar is the perfect way to relax. It takes anywhere from 40 minutes to two hours to smoke one cigar. And it forces you to do a couple of things. For one thing, it forces you to stop and to reflect because you really can't do anything else major while smoking a cigar. I mean, you can, but with the attention you have to give to the cigar, there's a certain amount of time between each puff that you have to take or your cherry will go out. Also, you don't want to hotbox the cigar or you just completely kill the flavors. So, because you have to focus a lot of attention on your cigar, you tend to kind of sit back and relax a little more and you tend to think more about what needs to get done in the future and it kind of gives you a reason to reflect and at the same time to plan ahead and while all this is occurring you're getting into a deeper sense of relaxation or at least I am and I feel like it just makes me more proactive for future events and it helps me to calm down from past events like maybe a hard day at work or something of that nature so that's the first reason I believe that people tend to smoke cigars. The second reason I think people smoke cigars, or the second thing I like about it, is there's a lot that goes into just making one cigar for a person to smoke. This Sancho Panza started probably months or years ago in Honduras. So in Honduras, these tobacco leaves were planted, hand rolled, the care that was put into them, I mean, just the art of the process itself is enough to help you appreciate cigars. Instead of this being machine rolled, it was made by hand by people. And let me give you a perfect example really fast. Until recently I worked in printing. I worked on a printing press. I was a helper. And we created different cards for different companies and just a lot of different graphics. And I could never appreciate that as much as I appreciate this. Because all I did was load paper into a machine. The machine did all the work and out popped this pretty perfect looking product at the end. Now, I also do a lot of wood burning in my spare time. I just enjoy the art of it. And even if it doesn't come out perfect, and even if I screw up a little bit on something because I'm not perfect at it, the time it took me to do it, the precision I had to dial in to get piece of art that I wanted out of it, it helps me to appreciate the whole process much more and that's what I believe people who appreciate cigars think about as well. I can't speak for them obviously but for myself the art of what it, it takes to make one cigar smokable for one person and to never be enjoyed again because they're all different subtly is enough to make a reason on this list. My third reason for smoking cigars is the flavor. If you smoke a cigar every few months or very rarely or only on special occasions, you might not realize that every cigar has subtle flavor differences and variances that an avid cigar smoker tastes. And it doesn't happen right away. You have to train your palate to taste these. But if you've ever heard a cigar described as leathery, or as peppery or a deep dark chocolate these are all tastes that aren't pronounced on your palate such as in a way of actually eating chocolate or licking leather or whatever you want to say they're subtly in the smoke and they're you got to really put your brain in this place of what do i taste and close your eyes and just really focus on what you're tasting The cigar I'm smoking now 
I'm getting a little pepper kick at the end. It's a very medium body cigar. It's very, it's not going to be a full flavored cigar, but I'm getting a little bit of pepper and some earthy notes. And the appreciation of these different tastes and the excitement you get when you start to taste them is something that I believe many people in the past have gone through and it's one of the reasons I keep coming back to cigars and one of the reasons I smoke them very frequently. Alright, let's move on to number four, the hobby. Uh, once you get into smoking cigars, you don't necessarily have to be addicted to the nicotine in the cigar. I can go months without a cigar. Uh, I never smoke cigarettes and I think the thing about the cigarette that I didn't like was that you had to inhale it into your lungs and plus it's uh, being born in 1989 uh, a lot of programs when I was very young really drove home the fact that cigarettes are not good for you um, cigars despite what you want to believe are very different from cigarettes cigarette cigarettes are machine made they're almost the same as the printing versus the wood art making and the fact that they're not really processed in the same way. There's a lot less time that goes into making a cigarette. And when I say the hobby of smoking cigars, I really mean the hobby of finding time for yourself to relax. And it's a very just deep appreciation for that time you get. And it makes it to where so much more than nicotine, that's the reason you come back to cigars later. It's an amazing feeling and it's a feeling that I believe is shared mutually by a lot of people. The fifth and final reason I have to smoke cigars is the community. There's a huge community of cigar smokers all around the world. People that appreciate cigars, that can talk about cigars. There's so much to talk about. And in this community, there are everywhere. There, there are old men, young men, uh, women in this community that are all experts in their fields and experts in cigars and they're awesome to talk to they're awesome to listen to and to learn because there's always something new you can find out about cigars there's different tricks you can do to kind of get more flavor from them how to season a humidor correctly it's such an amazing community of people that are always willing to help out a person who's starting cigar smoking or even a person who's doing something wrong that they've been doing wrong for a long time. It's not really one of those communities where people tend to make fun of people for doing something wrong because there are different ways to do everything. Some people say you should toast your cigar before you light it and some people just start, start up and they light it and that's that. It all depends on whose advice you want to take and also your own trial and error. The community's there. It's not something you're really exposed to if you don't smoke cigars. Because if you never search it out, it's not something that ever really pops up anywhere like, hey, do you like this video? Or hey, you should listen to this person. But once you do get into the hobby of smoking cigars, regularly or fairly regularly you start noticing this community is massive all over the world ridiculously big and very supportive and I think support is something that translates into every language and it translates into every thing you do without the support it's not as enjoyable so I believe that's definitely a reason to put it on my list of top five reasons I smoke cigars and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and please hit that thumbs up button. This is a brand new channel and there's much more content coming um, pertaining to cigars. And I'd love to answer any questions you might have. And also, I'd love to get video ideas from you guys. And even constructive criticism on how I did and all that stuff. Because it's always awesome to hear that stuff so I can tweak it and fix it for future videos. I want to thank you for watching. I'm going to finish up my cigar here and I will catch you in the next video.